At Speedway, we spent $21.84. Uh, we bought the banana cream pie ice cream. I'm so excited to try this because so many of you all have bragged on this. And honestly, we've reviewed a lot of 7-Eleven ice creams. Haven't had a bad one yet. So this is the banana cream pie. This is the double cookie dough. Then we bought a selection of Dunkaroos. Now, we have reviewed the vanilla cookies, but they have a limited edition sherbet frosting flavor and then they also had the chocolate frosting so i know the chocolate's been out for a little while but i don't recall trying that one i only remember having this vanilla one with rainbow sprinkles so those will be uh fun to try and then kevin spotted these we were checking out and kevin spotted these at the register they said exclusive flavor these are jack Lang's exclusive flavor uh for 7-eleven this is the original recipe the teriyaki and the smoking hot and then these Cheetos, we've never seen these Cheetos. These are chili and cheese, and they're balls. Chili, cheese, balls, Cheetos. And then we have reviewed the barbecue kettle chips, but we haven't had the regular chips, so I bought the regular. At Walmart, we spent $108.08. Uh, we bought a gallon of milk. And we bought these Karma drinks. Um, I've never noticed them. I'm sure they, it says 2 billion cultures. Good grief. This is a probiotic water. It's berry cherry, uh, blueberry lemonade, and strawberry lemonade. Like I said, it's been out for, I'm sure, for a little while. It looks like it has a powder in the top. Hmm. Oh, okay. It says... Pill sticker, push cap, shake well. Oh, that's cool. Well, we'll make sure we do that on video so we can all see what it looks like. Uh, we bought a loaf of bread. Kevin likes extra crunchy peanut butter, so uh, he, that's what we got for him. We bought some Cheetos. He made sure he did not get flaming hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we bought three packages of the Skittles drink mixes because that's what we like. Shredded hash brown potatoes. We did not need these at all right now. However... They're out of them so often that I decided to go ahead and get them while they were there. Uh, we bought some eggs. And I like these containers the best. I don't like those uh, containers, cardboard. the cardboard ones that Kroger uses. I like these containers the best. Um, baking powder. I bought four uh, semi-sweet chocolate baking bars. And I got the great value. They have Ghirardelli if you want it. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce. Love this stuff. Uh, some skinny dip cashews, dark chocolate cocoa, creamer for our coffee, Aquafina, and then you will notice Kevin bought Maxwell House. That's because a couple of weeks ago we were at Sam's Club and we bought a whole huge box of the McCafe that he likes. They are not working correctly in our Keurig. So my, it's not the Keurig. My coffee's working fine. My little cups are working perfect. It is very specifically those McCafe, mm -hmm. and so I've tried everything: poking two holes in the bottom, making the hole bigger. Um, he, I, the either the cup's too small, like too short, or the dome on the top is is too loose, so it goes down too far and it doesn't seal. So the whole thing is just the there's a whole batch is just screwed up. Right, but he he read he's read articles and everything about things that would help. And, and nothing will help. So he's going to stop using the McCafe for a little while. Yeah, I'll pass that love to someone else. And and see if we can uh, maybe get through this bad batch. And then maybe he'll buy them in a couple months. At Kroger, we spent twenty nine ninety seven, And we bought, this is like the healthiest part of the haul. That you'll get. <laughs> Such healthy food. Uh, we know. Uh, this is the Simple Truth. Uh, simple Truth and uh, two are Simple Truth and one is Simple Truth Organic, actually. Um, we were requested to review the uh, chocolate chip, but then Kevin spotted the oatmeal raisin and also oatmeal chocolate chips. And these two are plant-based and this one's not. Yeah, so we figured we would just try them all. We'll try them all at one time. And then uh, the Mrs. Jones Baking Company, we tried some of their like mug cakes, I think they were, but these are just the gluten-free monster cookies. And so we'll try those. We also got the Nestle Toll House Stuffed Jumbo Cookies, chocolate chip cookie dough with fudge filling. We got three Snickers candy bars and some Smucker's Caramel Sunday Syrup. 
At Dollar Tree, we spent $7.50. Everything was $1.25 a piece, so it's really easy to remember. We figured we would review these Utopia uh, Pitted Snack Olives. Uh, we have the green olives with garlic, the Kalamata olives with sea salt, and the green olives with chili and parsley. And then we've reviewed a lot of Sweet Chaos Popcorns, um, but we had not reviewed these. This is the uh, Drizzled Popcorn Candy Corn, which sounds wonderful, the Movie Theater Butter Popcorn, and the White Cheddar Popcorn. At Walmart, we spent $89.67, um, and there's some stuff in this haul that I have never bought in my life, so some surprises. Um, this, uh, we bought uh, some buttermilk, some heavy whipping cream, one of these spaghetti classics meals. This was not a planned uh, purchase. However, um, a recipe that I needed only needs a half pound of hamburger, and, and then we would have a whole half pound left, and we're like, well, what could we do? Well, we just bought another one, and we're going to make one of these spaghetti meals. <laughs> so, spaghetti classics, uh, elbow macaroni, uh, the Prego traditional uh, spaghetti sauce. We bought some celery and a green bell pepper and an onion. We bought some molasses, some seedless raspberry jam, creamy peanut butter, all-purpose flour, uh, tomato paste, that is for that spaghetti classics meal, uh, cream of mushroom, granulated sugar, uh, some chopped green chilies, a baking stick, a Crisco baking stick, this is um, vegetable shortening, some Heath Bar milk chocolate English toffee bits, uh, some frozen pies, uh, pie shells, uh, these are the Marie Callender brand. Kevin looked at the Great Value brand. He said they were like, he said it looked like somebody had stomped on them. Uh, so I showed you the two one pound packages of hamburger. Uh, we bought these. These are Rocky Road Fed Stripes. So we're going to be trying those. Some light brown sugar. Tyson White Chicken Breast. I have never in all my years bought chicken breast in a can, but it is Tyson brand. It's for a recipe. It's going like in a casserole. So I figure this, if I'm going to try it, this is the way I'm going to try it is in a casserole. <laughs> uh, we bought some Mexican uh, four cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and some mild cheddar cheese. Some Hormel pepperoni. These, this is the sliced pepperoni. Um, this is the Listerine. I like the cinnamon. They didn't have any cinnamon. You put these on your tongue. They're just like breath fresheners. I, I'll, I really like the cinnamon, but anyway, bought this one because they didn't have the one that I wanted. And then this is something, too, that I've never bought before. Uh, one of my recipes calls for Klusky Egg Noodles. Now, when it said Klusky Egg Noodles, I thought, oh, that's a brand. It's not a brand, and you all probably know that. Um, it's not a brand. It's actually a type of egg noodle. And they had like this inmate, which I've never bought this brand, but they had like three different sections of them. Some of them do say like wide egg noodles, or they'll say like egg noodles. These are specifically called Klusky because I picked up the bag. I told Kevin, I said, they look like this because I, I had, had looked up a picture so I knew what they look like, but I have never, um, never cooked with those before. Um, oh, and let me just mention during this, Kevin, you would have just seen right before this that Kevin bought the, um, uh, that coffee, the Maxwell House coffee at Walmart. We took it back. He tried three. Three of those K-Cups, none of them worked. So he took the receipt, it took them back, they credited our account. But the funny thing is, is my cups are still working fine. So it's like, we're wondering, okay, does McCafe and Maxwell House, are they both um, uh, put together in the same, uh, in the same uh, uh, warehouse we don't know uh, so or the same factory is what I mean uh, so we don't know but it's funny that his coffee's not working my coffee's working fine so he took those back and he's just he's making cup after cup of the McCafe Mac until one works 
At Dollar General, we found the Tasty Cake Mini Bundt Cakes, which I'm shocked because you, we don't get new Tasty Cakes around here normally. Uh, but they have the strawberry and they have the chocolate chocolate chip. And then we also found the limited edition fudge stripes. These are chocolate lovers cookies. At Meyer, we bought the limited edition s'mores ice cream. And we bought the other Nestle Toe House stuffed jumbo cookies. This one is a salted caramel filling. Also at Meyer, we bought two jars of pimentos. Uh, at Home Goods, we bought, I bought two cups. I bought this one with a cat and and I might already have this one, just so you know. Yes, I might already have this one. And I bought this one, which I know I do not have. It reminds me of one that I bought last week with wiener dogs, except this one has a Boston Terrier. So this is a different cup. And it does have the wiener. I think this is different. Now it's going to bug me. I'm going to have to go look. Um, let's see. I also bought some sprinkles, Halloween sprinkles. And it kills me that I bought these because I spent... $5 at Home Goods, and now at Walmart, they're getting their sprinkles out. I could have bought sprinkles for half that price at Walmart. Um, at Aldi, I bought the specially selected pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn and the Chakur milk chocolate peanuts candy shell and the apple cider donut cream cookies. At Big Lots, I bought the Wiley Wall Wallaby, Wallaby uh, candy corn drops. And the caramel core, uh, sorry, caramel apple hot chocolate bomb from Frankfurt. Um, at Bucky's, we bought these uh, pretzel sticks, garlic parmesan, and churro cinnamon sugar. And we also bought these cosmic pops. These are new. They have ca uh, cotton candy, orange cream, cherry cola, and lemon lime. And we bought some bars. These are Kate's Real Food. This is peanut butter dark chocolate, peanut butter milk chocolate, dark chocolate cherry almond, and peanut butter hemp and flax. We bought the Bucky's Mixed Fruit Flavored Snacks, and it looks like they have a lot of flavors in there. Uh, then we bought some classic cookies. We've reviewed uh, three or four of these. I think we've reviewed three other ones in the past. We've reviewed like a Reese's Peanut Butter and a Cinnabon and like a chocolate. This is a macadamia nut with Hershey's, double chocolate with Hershey's, and oatmeal raisin. Lenny and Larry's, they had the complete creams. Uh, this one is the chocolate, and this is vanilla. And then we bought some Julio's. These are corn tortilla chips. This is jalapeno peso, freaking hot, zesty chili lime, and original seasoned. More bars, Teo's Bakes, this is toasted coconut and vanilla bean, peanut butter chocolate and butterscotch, dark chocolate almond and sea salt, and caramel pecan and cranberries. And lastly, at Sam's Club, we bought, these are pumpkin spice cake balls. They're all the same thing. This is a pumpkin cheesecake, and it is absolutely huge. And then we got uh, the member, uh, sorry, the milk chocolate members mark. This is s'mores bark. And then... We bought another Keurig. So, you, you've heard through this whole haul. Coffee this, coffee that. Well, this morning, my K-Caps weren't working. So, the ones that I told you have been working the whole time. This morning, it was my K-Caps that weren't working. So, we decided to buy a new Keurig. Now, whenever I've shown a new Keurig, I've had comments that say, Oh, you just have to call them and they'll replace it or whatever. Kevin has called them before, and he's been on the phone for an hour with them, only to get hung up on. So we, we just buy a, bought a new one. We just bought a new one. This comes with 24 um, uh, K-cups, uh, pods. It comes with a filter and the water filter and handle. It comes with all that. that that's an adapter. So, yeah, so, so you can put loose coffee. So how, that was like 100, 139. One, $139. We were fine with that. So just to, to show you, this is the cup I bought this week with the little dog. And this is a uh, Harvest Green Studio. And this is the one I bought this week with the little dogs. And then on the inside, it has the both of the dogs. This is the one I bought this uh, last week. So it is a completely different cup. And it, it does have a wiener dog on it, but it says ride or die. It's a completely different cup. We went back to Walmart because I forgot uh, so to get some pizza sauce. So I bought some Prego pizza sauce. But while we were at Walmart, 
Uh, we saw the Hudsonville Little Debbie Pumpkin Delights ice cream. And of course, when we do those reviews, we always try to compare them to the snack cake if they're available. They were. And so uh, we will be reviewing those. Uh, hopefully you'll you'll you might have probably seen it even before this video i don't know it depends on how soon i can we can review it